Hey guys, what is going on? Mike here from Allcoin Freedom. I hope you guys are doing great today. Now, to any of our viewers out there who are from Denmark, you probably know where this picture is, um, what this picture is about, where this picture was taken. If you don't know, it's actually a picture of Denmark and it's from Hertzschels. I don't know if I say, I'm saying that correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong if you know, guys, but Hertzschels, Denmark. I've had a lot of friends, I've spent some time over there, say it's a beautiful, beautiful country. I hope with my crypto, my crypto profits, my Ripple profits, I can get over there someday to Denmark. So let us know in the comments below, guys, if you're from Denmark or you've been to Denmark, where we should check out if we ever get lucky enough to head over to Denmark. Now, in this video, guys, I want to talk about something me and my friends were talking about today, a little crypto group of friends that get together every now and then. A lot of guys are chart readers. Um, and a lot of us are just, you know, really always scouring the news. But something that was a consensus is that we could be seeing a repeat of 2017 for XRP. Because, you know, we know XRP had its ups and downs, right? Over all the years, if you've been in XRP for many years, it's had a lot of ups and downs over its lifetime. But kind of something we've noticed today, unlike some other cryptos, XRP's behavior, and you've seen this in the news, guys, um, the, if you've been looking at the chart, charts it looks like there's a little bit of a pattern that people were bringing to my attention today when we were talking about it so let me tell you what we saw now you can see in the charts it kind of shows that xrp has a little history of repeating itself okay and a lot of people have brought this to my attention today and i don't know how much we should read into it but it's at least it's something we should um you know be aware of anyway so we can see that Ripple starts to make, well, XRP, sorry, we should say the currency, right? XRP starts to make a little bit of gains during a month's time, and then we see the investors, you know, taking their profit like they do in many of the coins. They decide to sell off as soon as possible and take their price uh, profits, and then the price corrects. So, but this pattern is something that we can see all through XRP, all through last year, and especially I was hearing today about the XRP Bitcoin charts. So about over a year ago in late March, it showed um, XRP experienced a huge price increase, which marked the end of like, I think it was a 26 day long cycle. And in the following months, the price against Bitcoin corrected, and then I saw XRP kind of bottom out at the year's end. And then that took us into January, right around the end of, uh, beginning of the year, beginning of 2018, just at the end of the 2017, but when we just got into January 2018, XRP started another cycle where it started to rise again. And that one was for about 26 days. And then we went into about a 94, almost a, close to 100 days. Um, we saw the new cycle correction, okay? And that lasted up to about 100 and I think they were saying 110 days. It was also reported in the news too. So if you're looking at these theories that are backed by the charts, um, people are saying maybe XRP, our current price, we haven't reached the bottom yet, okay? We, may be, we might see a little drop for a little while longer if XRP continues to follow these kind of patterns that we've seen on the charts. So maybe only for about a week more though, people were saying, which is kind of good news. And um, that's when Rip Ripple, the company, but XRP, the currency, could have a little price correction. The, um, the price correction could kind of end and then we could start be on, being on a rise again. So if XRP is expected to keep following these cycles that we've seen in the past, it could be good news ahead. So looking back at the behavior so far, I mean, a lot of the guys I talked to today, they're expecting the coin to continue following that cycle before we can get into the new one, but then we'll really see the price start to go. Okay, so hopefully with X Rapid, this product, right, Ripple's X Rapid product coming out, going live, and the ability to make international payments quickly, globally, all over the place, it's really gonna change the way, um, what we've seen in the charts and the way the price moves. Um, you know, historically, it didn't have any of these, um, products out there. We didn't have some of the partnerships. So currently, both the situation and the conditions are relatively similar to kind of some of the periods we've seen before. Okay, and now many people have tried to explain what's happening right now with the charts too. Also, to see if there's any unusual behavior, it's most likely an explanation of Bitcoin's price increase right now, right? Because we know there's been a big attraction of basically a new wave of retail investors coming into Bitcoin. So, and those are usually people that have kind of been hesitant to join the market until the conditions are perfect. So right now, they're probably tired of waiting Waiting. They think things are kind of coming around with the regulations and that think some things getting settled. The regulation hasn't been done, but you know, it's becoming a little more safe for them. They think we're coming into some better times, quarter three, quarter four, the bull runs could be happening. So maybe we're going to start seeing more of those um, hesitant investors now finally getting into Bitcoin, which hopefully will improve the whole market. But despite any of that fact, that ripple cycle might be not yet over, like we've said, 
Um, the price probably maybe could go a little bit more, but hopefully it can get pulled up with this Bitcoin bullish run we're going to see in the next little while as institutional money comes on. And if Ripple is expected to like return any kind of price like it's done historically around those times when the correction starts, we could see a very, very good, good increase in the price of XRP, right? It could be bright times ahead. I think the bright times are indeed coming. And um, if we're looking back at what we've seen in the past, the next increases in XRP could be phenomenal. So I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Do you think we're pulling back a little more in XRP? In our, if we do, are you going to grab some more XRP? Or are you ready? You're happy with your uh, position in XRP? You don't need any more. Or maybe you're going to grab some right now because you think we're not pulling back too much more and prices are only going to start moving up as this money comes into Bitcoin. So let me know about that in the comments below, guys. If you've been watching our videos, you can sign off now. That's it for this video. And let me leave all the new people to our channel a little crypto safety community tip for you that's going to help secure your crypto for you and your family. I always, with my friends that I get into crypto, I always try to stress safety because we always say if we can help one person, if you're new to crypto and you catch one of our videos, hopefully we can help you learn how to become a more, you know, a safer crypto enthusiast where you learn how to store and secure your crypto so you don't become another victim, you know, to all of the crypto theft and hacking that's been going on. So guys, remember, be smart and get a hardware wallet immediately. It's the best investment. I can't believe some of my friends, the hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars are investing in projects and they're watching their tokens 24 hours a day to see the price moves, but they're not protecting them, which means they don't actually own these coins. They're just letting them sit on exchanges and sit on their computer. And any day they check, some morning they're going to check, those could be gone. Okay, so all of your future wealth and your family's future wealth you're building could be gone. So it's such a small price to pay, guys, to secure all that money you've been investing. And do it for your friends, too. If they don't know, recommend they get hardware wallets. Because, guys, we've already lost a billion in crypto to computer hacks and hardware hacks on our computers and hardware, um, you know, online wallets. So that's what's hurting our market. And that's what the regulation is trying to make this environment secure for this outside money to pour in. And we want it, guys, because when that outside money pours in and the crypto world is more welcoming and, uh, you know, and it's more safer for this outside money to come in and they don't hear so many stories of crypto theft and all these problems and people losing their money, the market cap's going to swell. It's going to be huge. And the market cap of your individual projects that you that you love right now will be up and your prices, the coins will be up. And that's when we'll all be making profit again, okay, and bigger profit than before. But we have to all, one by one, help, you know, create a very safe crypto world and get rid of that image of all the hackers and everyone losing that because newbies that come in, they don't know. They're so busy trying to figure out what projects they should get into and how to buy crypto. They don't even think about securing their crypto. And these are the people that are checking their exchanges and computers some days and their crypto has gone and it's horrible. So this message is important, guys, for you. If you haven't got a hardware wallet and you don't know how to store your crypto securely, get an offline hardware wallet. And if you have friends, guys, if you're very, you know, if you're a big crypto enthusiast, then spread the word to your friends and help them get a hardware wallet, okay, an offline hardware wallet, so you can help them protect their crypto for them and their families too. And let's all, one by one, guys, keep educating everybody about crypto so we can get that market cap of the whole industry to rise when the institutional money comes in and it's a very safe environment and a welcoming environment for everybody. Okay, guys, so very important to do that. And if you want to, if you want to get very serious about crypto, like myself and my friends, I personally, many of my friends, I use two hardware wallets one is a backup keep my crypto safe on that nice and safe i don't use it as tucked away for the future or whenever i'm going to need it and i also have a hardware wallet that i keep with me and i take around with me whenever i want to make transactions or do anything like that so and like i said before guys i'm piling up hardware off you know offline hardware wallets the ledgers i'm piling them up and i give them to my friends and I'm going to give some out to some other people, too, that have actually sent me a couple messages because, um, you know, I have I have a few people in the community here that I'm very well in touch with. And I know they're going to have to get hooked up with their offline hardware walls to be safe, too. But it's a great, great gift for your friends, guys, if you want to help them be secure and safe. And they'll really appreciate it later on when you're maybe the reason they were able to hold on to some of their crypto for years and made a huge profit. So look into your friends and getting them a hardware wallet too, guys. So and don't wait if it's too late, guys. One day it could just be too late and the crypto's gone. I have friends that keep telling me stories about the Bitcoin and Ether that you owned years ago. And it's horrible to think about the prices now when, you know, that they've had piles of those coins and they're gone. So if you do get one, guys, you got to get them directly from the manufacturer. It's safe. They'll never be tampered with. And if you don't know how to get one or where to get one, there's a link in the description below 
to help you out. You just go check it out and you can get one of the best, most popular hardware wallets on the market and you will sleep good at night every night knowing you don't have to worry about your crypto and your future investments, guys. If you could, please like this video. It helps us a lot. We appreciate that so much and subscribe to the channel as well so you could send us private messages and we can talk that way and be in touch very easy and you'll never miss any videos when we come out with any news and you might catch a good project that really catches your attention and you look into and maybe it's one that you know, for the future, you make some profit on if it's a project you get into early. So we'd like to hear from you guys too. I hope you have a good night, guys. I'll catch you in the next video and take care.